Blackburn Enterprises. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have been anywhere else, but you're here with me. Back with another movie review. Today we're going to be reviewing WW84. WW84? Why do you say it like WWE? Mm. WWF? It's what it is. Wonder Woman 84. Wonder Woman 84. Yes. Yes, this is directed by Patty Jenkins. You might know her because she previously directed the first one. Yes, the first, the first one, Wonder Woman one, and it's got a couple of people that's starring in it. Uh, first, one of the people that's starring on it is Gal Gadot. Gal Gadot. I'm gonna go with Gal Gadot. <laughs> <laughs> you might know her from previous movies such as the first Wonder Woman. Oh, well, obviously the first Wonder Woman, <laughs> and she was also in. Um. Fast and the Furious. Oh. I believe it was Fast and the Furious 6, maybe? Yeah, I didn't know that. I think, mm -hmm. think it's 6. Um, okay, and also starring in this movie, we have Chris Pine. Yes. Uh, you might know him from previous movies such as? First Wonder Woman. Well, well <laughs> yes, the first Wonder Woman. And also? Um, he was also in... Um, Come on, man. I forgot. We, we talked about this. You, yeah. you, you said he was in Star Trek. Yeah, he was in Star Trek. He was in Star Trek. Yes, he was, he was Captain Kirk in Star, Star Trek. Captain Kirk. Yes, and he's also in uh, one of our favorite comedies uh, in Horrible Bosses 2. Horrible Bosses, yeah. Yes, he was in Horrible Bosses 2. Okay, um, also starring in this movie is Kristen Wiig. Yes. And you might know her from... Bridesmaids. Yes. I yes. know her. All right, so she actually was on, on Bridesmaids. That's so one, uh, another one of our favorite comedies. Yes. And she, uh, you might know her from also on Saturday Night Live. Okay. And also starring in this movie is Pedro Pascal. Pascal. Yes, Pedro, Pedro Pascal. Pascal. Yeah, so you might know him from previous movies such as. Oh my, why did you turn to me? <laughs> I didn't even... who, who else am I supposed to turn I to? I don't know, you're supposed to say I'm it. To turn to random people over here. I don't here. know I don't... who he is. But uh, people might know him from the series The Mandalorian. I didn't watch that. I don't know that. Yeah, that comes on Disney+. Plus. No. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for supporting our channel here at Blackburn Enterprises, where we discuss various topics, generally trying to focus on important issues within the black community. We also discuss lighthearted subjects such as sports, movie reviews, interviews, and more. And if you enjoy it, go ahead and do us a favor. Make sure you hit that like button and that subscribe button. And you also can hit that bell so you'll be notified anytime we post videos. And you can also comment on our videos so we can get your feedback. We appreciate every single one of you. Now back to the video. Mm. Okay, so you want to go ahead and get into the plot. Yes, so the plot is Diana... AKA Wonder Woman is living her life in the 80s, trying to stay low key, trying to, you know, stay where nobody knows who she is. And you know, the okay. 80s was a time where everybody could have what they wanted. People were buying TVs, we had cell phones come out in the 80s, all this mm -hmm. stuff. So, you know, all the um, ads and commercials was focused on you can have what you like, you can have whatever you like. Like T.I. <laughs> Shout out to T.I. Yes. <laughs> yes. Right. So, yeah, that's, that's basically what it is. You know, Wonder Woman, she's being low key, she's trying to start her new life, so to speak. And um, a lot of things surrounding it is, you know, <laughs> you can have whatever you like, you know, going with this 80s. But there's always a cost. There's always a cost. Yes. So, you want to go ahead and get into the likes and the dislikes. Yes. Yeah, so, I like uh, the beginning of the movie, how it started off. I love the um, seeing Diana as a little girl. And I was like, oh, you know, I had some preconceived notions about this movie. Mm -hmm. But I was like, no, this is going to be action-packed. This is awesome. Right. You're like those people that told us certain things. They were wrong. You guys yeah. are wrong. Because the <laughs> opening of the movie was awesome. Yes. Um, it had kind of a, um, an Olympic opening. Mm -hmm. uh, I, don't, I don't think that's spoiling anything to say that. So, yeah, it had like an Olympic, Olympic Games opening. So, yeah, so that was real dope. So definitely like that. What else did you like about the movie? I like the colors. I like the um, how it was shot, the different scenes, and I like the act, the the vi the. What are you what saying? What's his name? He's a villain. Oh, the villain. Yes, yeah, I like the villain, the villain Max yeah. Maxwell. Was Maxwell Lord. Lord. You're talking about pa Pedro Pascal's yes. Maxwell Lord. Lord, yes, he mm -hmm. he embodied that. So okay. That was great. Okay. And DC is not known for their great villains. Okay, so I just want to... You sure about that? 
Yeah, Suicide let's see, Squad let's, villains sucked. Okay, let's see. Uh, the, the, the Joker, the Joker, Catwoman. That wasn't this new Penguin. DC. Not this, not the series. Well, what you say? I'm well, you gotta about, be, you gotta be specific. I'm talking about. You talking about the DCEU? DCEU. Okay. Is what I'm okay. About. okay. I was gonna say, they uh, do not know how to do this. Arguably, the DC has better villains than Marvel. You know, yeah, but, but not on but the DCEU. That's, that's a another, conversation yeah. for another day. <laughs> Man, yeah, any mu- other likes? Um, or dislikes? No, we'll stay with the likes. Yeah, that's all. That's that's pretty much my likes. Yeah, I would say uh, um, definitely the acting. Uh, I think everyone does a, a good job when it comes um, to the acting. You know, Gal Gadot, she does her job. She is definitely Wonder Woman. Um, you don't doubt that at any time during the movie. Well, I mean, she's Diana too. Yeah, but I'm but I'm saying she's she's, yeah. <laughs> she's she's a good Wonder Woman. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, also, Chris Pine, you know, he he, he, he does job. he does his thing as well. Like every everyone does a good job with I believe what, what they're they, giving. With what they're giving. That's it. Right. Right. Um, so you want to get into your dislikes? Oh, I dislike the secondary villain, mm-hmm. which is um, Barbara. She starts Barbara? off as Barbara. Is that her name Barbara? She starts off as Barbara, and then she ends up being something else. And yeah. I and then also like, he's something else after that. Yes, and then <laughs> something else after that. And I did not like that because we've seen this over and over and over again right. in different and, movies, right. DC and Marvel. Yeah, we we so. uh, we've talked about uh, we talked about that where when you see her character, you immediately know what type of character she's gonna be. She comes in, she's bumbling, she's fumbling over things. Yeah, she's not confident within no. herself. So immediately you're like, oh, no, she's okay, a villain. this is this Some is the th- or this is you know she's gonna be that character. She's not confident in herself right now, and somewhere towards the uh, end of the movie, she's gonna be a whole lot more confident than she is now. Yeah. Uh, and you know we talked about we've seen this in movies uh, such as uh, we've seen it in Amazing the, Spider-Man yeah, 2 yeah the Amazing Spider-Man 2 yeah. with, with Jamie Foxx's oh, character oh gosh yes and uh, we also seen this um, in one of your favorite movies in Batman um, yeah the Re- Batman Returns yes Batman you know, Returns with Michelle Pfeiffer's mm-hmm. character as the Catwoman so these are characters and in, in plenty of other movies as well where you've seen that character so that kind of um, is just the same old, same old. Like, like son- again. Not, right. Not, <laughs> nothing new about that. No. So, um, any other dislikes? Oh, I wanted to go back to a like, though. I think you said something about the music in the, yeah, in the uh, movie. Maybe I, I did. Really I don't like know. like the soundtrack uh, c- in contrast to Amazing Spider-Man 2. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, yeah. Not, I think, I believe the composer is Hans Zimmerman, if I'm not mistaken. Mm-hmm. Um, I had to check, like, double check that. But, yeah, I believe that's, that's the person that did the score for this movie. So yeah, so uh, definitely uh, the music, the, uh, the background music, mm-hmm. and the score for the film is uh, that's also a plus. Yeah. So one of my other dislikes was the fact that this is a Wonder Woman movie, so I expected way more action, but it was more so romantic than action, and the romantic movie didn't give me all the feels. <laughs> like right. I expect the romantic movie to be like, oh, you know, it's so sweet, but it I didn't get many emotions and feelings right in this movie and i i agree with you um i think um uh, some people uh might look at wonder woman and think of wonder woman they think of like the warrior uh the person that's you know that's going that's ready for battle and sometimes they think of um wonder woman more or less you know the teacher and you know teaching people how to love and things of that nature so when we think of wonder woman tend to think about that warrior i think that's something that made the first Wonder Woman really good. I think she embodied uh, that combative nature of Wonder Woman. Like she loves for it. She lives for, it, you know, that action. Because you look at the way she was raised, you know, she was raised by a bunch of uh, a bunch of people that were constantly in combat and combat and combat. So to see this movie and for her to almost take a seat back, and it always almost reminds me of some previous movies. Iron like, Man Three, like Iron Man Three yeah. and um, Spider Man Three, mm-hmm. where you don't see, you know, uh, their their other party. You see that main person that they are, you know. Yeah. So, so we don't really see Wonder Woman. We see she's mostly Diana throughout this movie, yeah. and it's similar to Iron Man Three, where um, you saw Tony Stark, and he was Tony Stark the majority of the movie, but you didn't see Iron Man. It's like, okay, where when is Iron Man? Where's Iron Man? And it's the same thing with Spider Man uh, in the first Spider Man trilogy. 
when he saw Spider Man, he was he was like Tobey, well, not Tobey Maguire, but he was Peter Parker. Peter Parker, yeah. you know, the majority mm-hmm. of the movie. So it was like, yeah. okay, well, where the heck is Spider Man? I believe right. those two movies, as well as this movie, suffered because of that. Yes, I agree. I definitely agree. All right, so you want to go ahead and get to your rating? Yes, I'm gonna rate this movie a C. Yeah. Oh, C. Oh, oh, solid C. Solid C. Okay, yeah. and why is that? Because it was also, I didn't say this in my dislikes, but there was also some things that didn't make sense. Um, you still, <sighs> you didn't stick to the rules that you said at the beginning of the movie for the villains or other parts of the yeah. movie. Like, wait a minute. Yeah, didn't yeah. that already, I'm confused. So there's a lot of confusion going on. And <laughs> confession time. What's the he confession? don't know because he hates when I do this, but I fell asleep. Oh, yeah. In parts of the movie. So <laughs> yes, I, yes, I do hate that. Yeah, and, so I was trying to hurry up and open my eyes so he didn't know that I was dozing yeah, so, off a little bit. Yeah, so definitely. So, not so definitely when movies, movie. when they establish the rules of the of the film of this world or whatever it is, you're like, okay, cool. These are the rules. This is how things work. You expect those rules to be followed the entire movie. And <laughs> there are some things that happen later on. You're like, wait, in the beginning, you said you could do this. Now. Yeah. Now you're doing something totally different. It makes, I understand. It makes me think of the movie Bird Box, uh, yes. which I absolutely hate <laughs> as yeah. a movie because I felt like that was the epitome of establishing the yeah, establishing this rule. This is the rule that you have to follow. And then yeah. later on in the movie, this, that rule is just out the window. It's just like, wait. Like, what happened what? with that? Right. And uh, another thing, I guess to piggyback off, off you, and I'll go ahead and give my rating of a C as well. <laughs> Because um, I feel like the, on the part where you fell asleep, um, probably uh, in that second act, that was probably was extremely long. And mm-hmm. that was like like we alluded to earlier, where she was Diana. And there was a lot of talking and a lot of narrative that was going forth um, with her. And there was not a lot going on. And like the right. movie slows down almost to a snail's pace. Yes. So, yeah. So I agree with you. Um, I think we'll give it a C. That sounds great. <laughs> All right. So if you want to go ahead and do us a favor, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. And uh, if you haven't, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We definitely really appreciate that. Uh, and you can also hit that bell. So anytime that we drop new content, you definitely know uh, when, when we drop those videos. And if you want to go ahead and do us a favor and also comment down below, what should they comment? How did you feel about Wonder Woman 84? Yes, go ahead, go ahead and let us know how you felt about the movie, if you agree with us or if you disagree. We would definitely appreciate it. Yep. All right, so I guess we'll holler at you. Peace. Peace.